afternoon craft lab welcome to my channel GMC creates my name is Jackie McKissick and today we're making this project so this is a uh, I'm still on my interactive card kit for charity and I wanted to make one of these slider cards but I didn't have any dies, so I worked around it. I did what I could. I did it my way. Okay, so this is the card we're making today. Now, what do we need? I'm going to use these three inks, or I'm going to try and see what they look like. I just made a background for that one that was the colour scheme of the thing the wee giraffes and um, it kind of reminded me of a night sky in the forest or stir in the jungle where the giraffes are so I just went with the flow so this time because my little giraffes are I've coloured them in pink and green and I've done a different one for the girl this time so um, I'm going to attempt to make my background in those three colours. These palm trees, this is a dye, uh, not a dye, this is a pattern in my scan and cut. So I simply cut out two palm trees and then I stuck some brown card on top of the base bit for I didn't want it green. And those are my two palm trees. Okay. My grass is, um, I've already cut, I've used two different pieces of dark green card um, to represent jungle colours and this green matches this green. So um, I actually have cut them a bit larger because we just got to go with the flow with this. I can't exactly remember how I did it, so I'm <laughs> I'm just winging it. Okay, so you need a piece of acetate. Now this is far too long. I only need about this much, but this was some. What do you call it? I lam something I laminated, and this is one of the scraps. So that's what I'm using. I'm using a card base. This card base is actually 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths and they come from the pound shop. You get 15 card bases and envelopes for a pound. And I have a piece of card to make my background on that is 5.5 by 5.5. So I am using this little die here to make my slider bit. Now these are just some cheap dies that I bought somewhere. I am using this bit from my double slider surprise as my way of guiding you where you need to pull out at. Okay. My grassy hillside borders from Longfall. And then my giraffes come from this set here, which is Make Special Cards Issue 11 that I bought sometime last year. It's a magazine, so sometimes you can get back copies of magazines. So, But this was one of my favourites, these little giraffes. I'm not into the pansies, but the giraffes were... Purdy. I'm a cute girl. I like cute. So. Okay, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to pause and blow my nose. I still have the most horrendous cold and my sinuses are completely blocked and causing me to have a headache. This is a strip of card that I'm going to use as my pull out bit. Okay, so I think that's it. The first thing we're going to do is make our background. So, let's go. What should we start with the pink? 
and this is all I did all the way over and I made it vibrant because my colours are vibrant despite the fact that this these animals are in the jungle this is my version of a jungle night time or daytime, whatever way it turns out. <laughs> we shall see, shan't we? Right, green. I bought some of these brushes from Amazon and I quite like them. So I've ordered some more because my daughter appropriated half of them for her makeup. You have to watch because the pink and the green get muddy. See, do the pink and the green get muddy? I forgot about that there. Okay, and a little bit of blue. And if this doesn't work, it'll be back to the drawing board. But we shall see. It's just a background. Oops. My fingers. I need a better card. Because I'm putting fingerprints everywhere. So I am. I don't want fingerprints everywhere. This is just about a cheap card and I think that's why I am, um, it's not blended as well, but I don't want to do the pink and the green too much in case they get muddy. Okay, so I am going to live with that. I'm just going to blend the edges slightly. Okay, put my inks away, put my three brushes, and what a wee stand for these brushes too from somewhere cheap, I think it was £2 or something, so that's the only reason I bought it. Right, next we're going to spray it with water, okay. that and get a bit of kitchen roll Thor has been dementing me all morning but he's pumpkins awake now so yay peace I couldn't do this because he wouldn't stop walking about in front of me so he wouldn't so that is going to be our background which we are going to let dry but first we are going to take a little bit of this is a stumping up um, paint that I've put in some 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 alcohol oh I used the gold one instead of the white one oh well and it gives it a nice shimmer so I'm just going to let that all sit there and dry and wipe up my workbench try and keep the joint clean so 
what we need to do now is figure these out. This one will be the back one. And it'll be going on top of that panel card. But for now, I am... Um, I don't want it that high. About there. And I want my little die. This little straight one here. This is going to make my channel. So I can stick him up about there on the acetate. So if I have it running down here, because I need room to put foam tape on both sides, okay? And at the end. So I don't want that too close to the end because this is going to be five and a half, which we might just cut now. Five and a half by five and a half, that's the size of our panel. So he'll be sitting on acetate up about there, and we can always cut another bit off at the bottom if we want. So I need a bit of I need a bit of sticky, and I'm going to run this through my Gemini. And this is now our panel for the back bit. And then that bit will cover over the top like that. We just go and cut that. Make sure it's the same size. See, that will cover that like that. So, our strip of card will go here. Is our acetate on and it has to go across to about there so I need foam tape on both sides of that to hold it in place that's where I want it about there so I need foam tape there and there So, 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 this will fit. And I'm going to run it straight across. And as I can't remember what I did the last time, I'm just hoping this works. Okay. And then I will want a bit underneath as close as possible without being too tight. Just give it a millimetre of room so that it can move. Okay. Right. And then you'll want a bit, you'll want a bit there to stop it going any further. Okay, like that. So, okay. That's going in there like that. We need to add our acetate, but we need some foam tape on there for acetate to sit on. And it has to be quite narrow because it has to move. I don't want it too tight. I need two bits. Where's my pokey tool? Okay, and I'm going to just cut another wee skinny bit. Actually, and I'm going to Take my EK success 
powder tool and go along the sides so that that hopefully won't stick then. Oops, it came off. Oh, flipping Nora. I wonder what it stick on with. Craft glue. Why did it come off? Right. Pretty far there, like that. So that needs to be there, like that. Now, let's hope it sticks with that. Okay. Now I just need to try and find my piece of acetate, which is there. And it's doubled. Okay. So... And you can use whatever you want to make this. Just look through your dies. You're bound to find something that will make this little narrow slip. Narrow slip, even. And then that will stick on there like that. Okay? Right, I need that to dry. So I do, I need that to dry. It's not going to dry, right, back to the drawing board, different bit. Back to the drawing board, Jack. Let's try this. And then another one. Like that. Okay. Now, I think I might put another one on. Because that stuff flattens down a lot and I need it to... I need it to... Sit out a bit from that so as it doesn't catch in the grass behind. Okay. So just take your time when you're doing this bit. And you'll get there. Perseverance is the name of the game. Okay. Right, now where's my acetate? I just put that on top of there. Okay, so that that will slide in and out. Catch in there because I need another bit of foam tape. And this is what I did to actually make sure it didn't catch, by the way. Where's my. I took that and I curved it in at the top up there. In case any of them bits would stick out. And then you see it slides. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right. So.
so it's very high I think so I want to move it down a bit how far down can I move it I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch off it I think Then that will sit on there like that. Okay, let's cut off some of our acetate. You can actually keep these for more bits. And then this is our wee slidey one. And he's going to go on up about there. And, and, and you want to decide where your trees are going like this and just get your placement right before you stick anything down now I want no 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 excuse me while I think about what I'm doing here this bit will then go over the top like that and the wee woman will sit there and it will be love. Now, the sentiment. I need to find the sentiment. Okay, the sentiment I used was You Make Me Happy and it's from Flirty Flowers from Stampin' Up. And now we want to, we want to make sure we can get room for it. Okay. So if you go there, the wee dolly, just you sit there like a good wee girl. Okay. And... Okay. Right. Let's just let's just figure this out, people. So that one can come over there and that one can come over there and then my sentiment will go. My sentiment will go there. And you can see I've drawn a line on it to try and get it a bit straight because the first time I did it, it wasn't very straight and it annoyed me. So we can take all that off now. And put that there like that. Let's just see if that is straight okay right now excuse me while I rake the joint Okay, I hope that's dry enough for embossing powder. Hello pretty lady, hello pumpkin, hello my pretty girl. No, I can't paint the embossing. So, I've got some Versamark and my Tim Holtz tonic stamp platform okay and need a piece of scrap paper and 
great embossing paper. And I can tell from looking at that that that's crooked as can be. Oh no, it's not. My ace is. Ha! Go me! So I've heated it up with my heat gun. And now we are ready to rock and roll. And I am just going to stick those on there like that. I wonder, did I want to? No, I didn't. Excuse me, thinking out loud. Oops. Well, this is definitely the finickety bit. Trying to get this stuck down where you want it without sticking it to where you don't want it to stick. But once again, I would say patience, but I have no patience, so I'll say persevere. <laughs> Oops, I've stuck it on there. You see, I've stuck it on there already. I want it down in between them two bits. Right. Now, yay, we did it, we did it, we did it, go me, go me, oh no, why is it not working, oh there, okay, so that's your, and then you'll want some foam tape. I want to cut an hour bit off that. Take that a wee bit smoother. Just okay, like that. Now I'm going to. I'm going to. What am I going to do? How did I do that? Where is it even? Where's the other bit? The wee coal tab bit. Okay, sorry about that. Lunch happened. My husband appeared with lunch. It's going back to work tonight. Oh no. I have to make my own dinner. Yuck. Cornflakes it will be. I know, I'm a terrible eater. Anyway, card base. Where is my card base? Right, this is my card base. So, we're going to put our... our... background on. Okay. Pardon me. And Thor's on the floor eating. So be prepared for a black tail appearing out of nowhere when he jumps up. He can't jump up. But what he does is he sticks his claws in the side of my chair where the fabric is and pulls himself up onto the arm and then he can climb from the arm of the chair up onto the desk. So he now sleeps in Riley's bed. And I don't know what the vets are going to say about this blinking leg when we go back here on the 16th of January. But it's causing him no pain. I don't think he's ever going to be able to go outside again for, like I said, he can't jump properly. So he can't. Right, so that's going on there. And then I want some foam tape on the back of this one. Okay, I put a dirty fingerprint on it. That's from my pancake. Right. I don't want to put that thick, that thicker foam tape on. I want this thinner one. 
because I don't want too much dimension on that bit. And um, I know that in America they're very post-conscientious. I live in Northern Ireland and I know it. I make what I like. And they all go to charity anyway, so it's not my problem after that. <laughs> and if they don't want to post it, they won't buy it. So there is going to be our little guys and gals. Okay. So let's stick on what? Let's stick on what? That's a good idea. What shall we stick on? We'll stick on this one. I coloured these and cut these out with my scan and cut. And I coloured them with alcohol markers. Some of them I did with watercolours. Some of them I did with coloured pencils. I just tried everything. Ain't no bad enough. Right, now, so, we're going to put some glue dots on our wee man. To hold them on down there. Oops. There's Thor. Hello, beautiful. Yes. What is it? Get up and lie down. Good boy. Hopefully he'll go to sleep for an hour now. Now that he's fed and watered. Oops, don't stick yet. I'll take a wee bit more off the top of my acetate. There we go. Now we're going to put on our little trees. One there, where's the other one? And one there, I think this time. So, glue, glue is required. Oops. There we go. And we're just going to cut this little excess piece off. Okay. So then we're going to take a tonic aqua shimmer glitter gloss in, that's what it's called, glitter gloss. And put it on our trees. Okay. My tea, my tree's not dry yet. That's why. Oops, you're a plonger, Jaggy. Ha ha ha. What am I? A plonger. Yeah, anyway, we need to cut a wee bit off there too. Thankfully, our glue dries clear. We just want to cut that wee bit off there. Okay. 
And there you go. That is version number two of my You Make Me Happy card. I think I prefer the colours in this one. I didn't think I would, but I do. So, that is how you can make your own slider card. Oops, it's not going to slide past that. You know what, we're going to have to move our tree. We have to do tree surgery. And put it in behind. I forgot about that. Because there's two pieces of card on that bit there and it's a bit high. So we'll just stick it in behind them like that. Okay, tree surgery complete. Yesterday I was doing giraffe surgery. There's method in the madness. There you go. There you go, slidey. Yay. So, that uh, that's my two versions of my slide or giraffe card whatever you call it <laughs> so if you like it give me a thumbs up much appreciated thanks for stopping by really do appreciate it if you're subscribed thank you if not please subscribe so till the next time jack you out